before this video gets started, if you watched the last video, I just want to apologize for the abrupt ending, but it was getting so long that I ended up cutting the video in half. If anybody is looking to do an outfitter in Ohio or Kentucky, Jason's Hunt Club might be a better option for you. A couple reasons. One, outfitters are pretty expensive. Two, you usually only get three or four days. So the amount of money you're going to pay in three or four days, you could actually join the Hunt Club and hunt the entire season in two different states. You know, an outfitter is going to be at one location. Jason has multiple properties in Ohio and Kentucky, and if you join the Hunt Club, you can hunt those properties. He has two slots open. At the time that this video is going up, he has two open positions for the Hunt Club. If you guys are interested and want some more information, just leave a comment down below and I'll send you his contact information. Now on to the rest of the trip. So what's the best way to get to 75 from here? Use your GPS. Is that Hell's Life? Oh, good. I thought, you said, I thought you said that I loaded it light. Oh. Did you get it all? No. Give me a pick right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to mow my food block tonight. I'm playing some uh, alpha rack. You got camera set up? or? No, no, not yet. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, that's the goal to kind of get set up this time. And Yeah. Jason set up this Spy Point Link Micro last week and it's been getting a lot of pictures. This one is the nationwide network. It will work at the bottom of the field and we have a Verizon in my backpack that he got on clearance at Walmart. We're going to set that one up here because I have five bars of LTE on top of the mountain but I only have one bar of 3G at the bottom. So we're going to take this one down there, put the Verizon one up here and then hopefully we should get pictures from the top and the bottom of the mountain. So this is my kind of out in the woods unboxing. I'm not really going to do an unboxing, but uh, he picked these up. 89 bucks, man. That's pretty good. I guess they're last year's units, so hopefully they still work with the new app and stuff. We're going to give it a try. I actually don't own one of these, but Jason owns like probably around 20, and then my brother and his friends probably own around 5 or 6 or 7. They all seem to work really well. They're actually really inexpensive considering what you're getting now you don't have a huge megapixels which you don't need but it's still 8 megapixel which is almost 4k and then you know 4k pictures you know you got leds you got uh, multi-shot mode now it doesn't shoot video but you know you don't necessarily need video i like to shoot video but you know that's just my personal preference if you're going to set these up and not change the cards you're really not going to want to use video anyway because the video does take up quite a bit more space in your camera or on the sd card and therefore once it fills up you're going to have to go out and get your card one thing is jason wants me to set this up but he forgot that i he has to scan the code on the inside so uh, i'm gonna have to take this back down to him real quick and so he can scan it in because he didn't give me his password to his app. When you open it up, you take these out. This is the battery holder. So the SIM card's down here. So if you ever do have problems, say for some reason just stop sending you messages, or messages, it's probably because this may have came out when you put the batteries in. And therefore when, when the batteries come out, sometimes you just need to pop it out and then pop it back in. And it works right away. My brother had that same problem. I've had that problem. Take your SIM card out, put it back in, and it actually instantly worked. It takes eight batteries. Um, he had one out. It would send him one transmission a day, and he had one out. I think he changed the batteries in January when we were when I was down here hunting and got the eye infection. He changed the batteries in it, and he still got pictures all the way into the first week of July. So. If you have it set up right where it's only sending you transmissions every now and then, um, obviously if you know if 
you have it over corn or something like that, you're gonna get a lot more pictures, a lot more transmission, so it's gonna use a lot more battery. But depending on where you got to set up, if you got to set up just out in the middle of the woods, it really won't go through as much battery as you would think, being that it's a cellular camera. And then you got the SD card right here. It's a micro SD, so you got to make sure if you buy one of these cameras, you need to buy a micro SD as well. And then your sensors right there, you got your LEDs, and then your lens. And I will be right back because I got to go and have him scan this. Hopefully, we got to set it up. He didn't have very good signal. We don't know if it actually confirmed that this is set up, so he might have to come up here just so he can get better signal to confirm that the camera was set up. That's all it took though. He just scanned the barcode and he was able to register the camera. And it's red, so no signal. So that means that the camera isn't registered yet, I don't think. Or is that orange? I can't tell. Right here, is that orange or red? I think it's red. can't tell right now because the sun is pretty low but between 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock this is filled with sunlight so we chose this spot here as a really good location because it's already got a natural funnel the deer are already moving through here is that a deer it's not even deer season yet and i'm seeing deer that don't exist but it's a natural funnel because it's it's part of this ravine here it's lower than the field and then it's above the river so they feel safe in here so now instead of just using it as a highway, they have a rest area. So they can come here, they can eat. I'm sure they'll go to the bathroom because they do that anywhere. I'm gonna use this tree right here and put corn out in front of it for now. And then we're gonna put that micro that I took off the top of the mountain and put it here. Looks like there's actually a rub on this. See, that's red. The other one I think is orange, so it might actually have signal up top. So the camera's not working here. So what I'm going to do is, well, we have a non-cellular one in the truck that we can just set up here. And then I'm going to take this to the food plot that they're working on right now, see if there's signal there. And there's already a big salt lick over there that has it's been dug out and they drink out of it. So I'm going to take it there, set it up on that, see if it works over there. If it doesn't work over there, I don't... I don't know, I just have to ask Jason what he wants to do with it. So Jason had a Force 20 in the truck, so I just got that set up. So I think he's trying to get out of here, so I set that up. We got at least a trail camera on the food plot, on the corn, and we're going to see what bucks are in here. But like I said, we already saw some really nice bucks last night, but we really want to get a good look at them. Try to be able to tell what they are, how big they are, how old they are, etc. I got back from setting up that trail camera, and tractor stopped working so it's it's running no power steering so there's something wrong with the hydraulics that is a big old spider look at this thing the only good spider is a dead spider so he was working on this food plot here and then it stopped working about it's like two thirds uh, about a third of the way through it stopped working so He's gonna have to probably do it next week. He's gonna be down here next week working on this. I'm not gonna be able to come back next week. I got a family reunion, some other things going on. So that's where we're staying right now. We're trying to, you know, right now it runs. So he's hoping he can get his truck back here. And then with his truck being back here, we can load it up on the trailer and then he can pull it out of here and then we can actually get it out of here. So I don't know if we're gonna be coming back tomorrow since the tractor's not working, we might come back just to set up some stands, maybe just do some walking around and scouting.
Everybody wants to put it in one pile. You gotta make it hard for them. They'll dig in there for days. Right there. I mean, it looks like a pretty heavy cow trail. I'll knock it over. When they let them in here, they're gonna knock it over no matter what. Okay. Then yeah, that probably that'd be a good spot right there. There's a tree right there. A little bit of trimming. We're back at the new lease today, but since the tractor broke down, we're just really not doing a whole lot of work. We went to the first farm there, which is an, another lease that he has. It's one that didn't get hunted enough last year, and so I think when I come down here, I'll probably do some some good amount of hunting on that property. There's only two stands right now, but we're gonna add a third, and then uh, the landowner gave us permission to plant some beets. So Jason's gonna plant beets there next week. He's gonna be coming back. I won't be coming back. We tried to get this one camera working, and there's, there's just no signal. We're down in the valley, so you're losing signal with the mountains, you know, being in the way of the antennas that are however far away, and then the power lines. So I know that they have some sort of effect on cellular transmission. And by the way, the squeaking you hear is my wipers, they don't turn off. I ordered a new switch. Hopefully it will be in tomorrow so I can not have to deal with that anymore. We have five bars up at the top of the mountain, even with Verizon and with the global or whatever it's called, nationwide network. And down at the bottom, neither cameras really work. This one over here sends images, but it's really slow. Uh, I walked in front of the camera and it didn't send any images, but they might pop up a little later. If for some reason it still doesn't transmit, you know, we'll still get the pictures on the SD card. Same with the, the one in the back. We left the one in the back because we knew it's gonna take pictures. He's gonna get here next week and then possibly move it. I do have a question for you that might help us out in this situation. Do you own a spy point cellular trail camera and do you use the range extender and are you in a situation where you need the range extender because we're really wanting to figure out if that would help us out here because I think it's like 60 bucks for one of those range extenders and if it would help it'd be worth it just to get those images building up to the season as the season gets here more people are hunting here we can just swap out the cards if they're not working you just do it the old school style just to see what's here, but I think the more you hunt, the less you have to look at cameras because the more you're gonna see the deer. A local guy used to hunt this property, his name's Chris. He's actually out on the four wheeler with Jason and he decided not to lease it this year. So Jason got the opportunity to lease this property, which is a gift to us basically, so thanks Chris. He's actually, I mean, he's nice enough to come out here and actually show us where he's seen deer out here, he's, uh, where he's put his stands before. And, uh, he's been telling us about the success he's had. So I want to thank Chris for helping us out because having a new property this close to the season, you know, it's really helpful to get that information. It would have taken us another two day, two or three days just to determine like all the deer sign, you know, what's the active area. We, we've definitely seen, you know, there's a major trail over here along this river where I put the food plot yesterday. I don't know if I'm gonna get in here for velvet season or not, but I'm gonna try as hard as I can. So this has been my Kentucky, Ohio summer maintenance video, new, new, new property setup video. So thanks for watching. Comment down below, hit that like button, subscribe. I gotta go.